What is up, MJ? Welcome back to WBN Channel 9 News. We've got a lot of news for today, guys. Sure do, Ryan. We got the amazing Sabrinkle with weather. Then we'll kick it off to Superior Chanel with sports. Then we will go to Jolly Joe Jonas with What's Trending Now. For our special segments, we've got On Point Friday with Jayla. Then we got our usual word of the day to wrap it all together. With all that, roll the intro. Welcome back to WBNN. I'm Jacob. And I'm Ryan. Today is January 20th, 2017, the inauguration of our 45th president. Now we will send it off to Jonas to discuss the inauguration and much more news and trending. Hey MJ, tonight we have a basketball game against Lebanon and the theme for that game is Gangster. We had a huge amount of people and support from our student section last game and a big crowd is always wanted at the games. So dress up in your thug attire and support our Bears. Yesterday, there were theater auditions for minor characters for the new production, The Phantom of the Opera. If you are still interested in being in the play, whether it being a part of the crew or dance or any extra, you can still sign up and audition on Monday after school at the theater. The first rehearsal will start next Tuesday after school. And finally, we have a huge day in the political world as Donald Trump is taking oath at the White House to officially become the 45th president of the United States. Many people showed up for the $200 million event as many as one million people were estimated there. The huge budget is because of donations by the PIC, which amounts to over $100 million. The rest came from either Trump's inauguration donations and public donations. That's all the trending news we have. I'm Jonas, back to you guys. Thanks, Jonas. Do you have a musical talent that no one really knows about? Well, if you do, BNN is bringing back a segment called Live at Studio B, where we showcase any singer, songwriter, choir, or instrument player. If you are interested, stop by the Bean In Room at any time and discuss it with Miss Nicholas. Without further ado, we have Sabrinkle with the weather. Hey MJ, it's Sabrina. Today will be partly cloudy with a high of 65 degrees. Tomorrow will be about the same, but it may rain in the morning. The rain will go away for a bit tomorrow afternoon before starting back up late tomorrow night. Sunday will be cooler, only reaching 61 degrees, and there's a decent chance of rain all day. Peaking ahead to next week, it will be cloudy most days, but there most likely will not be rain. It will be somewhat warm in the beginning of the week with highs of 50 on Monday, 57 on Tuesday, and 61 on Wednesday. The latter part of the week will be cold with temps only reaching the 40s. In world weather, a large avalanche buried a hotel in central Italy the other day, trapping as many as 30 people inside. Six to eight people have been rescued and there have been reports of more people miraculously being alive inside under all of the snow. This avalanche may have been triggered by recent earthquakes that have struck the region. In Spain, snow has trapped thousands of people in vehicles by blocking several main roads. The Spanish Army's emergency unit is distributing blankets and hot drinks to some of those trapped people. Snow plows are working around the clock to clear the roads. I'm Sabrina, keeping you in the know for all of your weather news. Back to you guys. Thanks, Sabrizi. During some time in February last year, we showcased many different classes in order to deliver a hint of what to expect if you would like to join a specific class. BNN will be bringing back our class promo videos for anyone interested. Teachers, if you are interested in being filmed for a promo video and want it to be placed on our broadcast, contact Mrs. Nicholas in the BNN room for more information. Now, let's toss it to Chanel with our sports news. Hey, I'm Jay Chanel here to fill you in with your sports news. We have a hockey game tonight at Centennial Sports Flex at 6.30. Come out to support our Bears. Congratulations to our wrestling team who ranked number nine, Dominating Beach, who ranked number five by a score of 39 to 33. The final came down to the last match of the night with MJ pulling out the win. Our Bear winners were Jalen Henry, Zach Wilkins, Stephen Weiss, Dylan Quinn, Chris Humphreys, Nathan Walling, Brian Horner, and Austin Plumley. The MJ wrestling team will be back in action on January 24th at the District Duels at Beach High School. There will be another match against Beach tonight at 5 p.m. and a JV Middle T and Grand Champion championships at McGavick High. There will also be a basketball game tonight at Lebanon. Girls starts at 6.30 while guys starts at 8. Speaking of basketball, coming home is next Friday against Portland and we're determined to crush them. So make sure to be there to support our Bears because I'm truly a strong believer of Spirit Fingers luck. I'm Chanel keeping you up to date on sports and don't forget, stay classy MJ. Back to you guys. Thanks Chanel. 
Here's Jayla with On Point Friday. Hey MJ, I'm Jayla. I'm Adriana. And I'm McKaylee. You're Fashion Police. This is a new segment we like to call On Point Friday. Where we will be showing you some of the most trendiest outfits of Mount Juliet High School. Without further ado, let's get started. Thanks, Jayla. If you like reading books, but your unsocial lifestyle has caused you to already have read your collection of knowledge, then have no fear because the librarians have set up an event called the Book Tasting. The Book Tasting is kind of like speed dating with books. They have 10 tables lined up with books, each table with their own respective genre. You and your class can visit each table one by one to check out each book they have to offer in order to find your perfect match. Teachers, if you would like to take your class to this event, contact Ms. Holloway to find out when would be a good time to do so. Now what you've all been waiting for, word of the day, with the cringiest group of people to ever reveal their face on the news. Ah, my trusty stairwell. Hello down there, floor dweller. What? I said hello down there, floor dweller. What? Oh, for the love of fuck. This happens every single day. I am king of the stairwell. People always question me. I said hello down there, floor dweller. Oh my heck. Did you really just call me that? Ah, but I am considered paramount for I am the king of the stairwell. You literally just climbed the stairs. That doesn't make you any more important than me. Well, I am. Because I'm off the ground floor, so... Anyone can climb the stairs. Oh, but you can't. Bruh. Watch me. I guess that makes us equals. Nobody's paramount. Thanks for watching WBNN Channel 9 News. I'm Ryan. And I'm Jacob. And here at WBNN, we're in touch. So you're in touch. Have, Have a, a great, great day, MJ. MJ.